really found the, the tracking on that puck, and you, you can kind of see him in between in the in the crease. You know, if you're not sure, get out further. Try to close down as much net as you possibly can. Nikolovic plays for nine. Defenders, just a great example of that on this goal. And then he finds Spencer Watson, who, when that puck gets onto his stick, it's off of it very quickly. But Josh Hosang really showing the offensive ability and playmaking skills that are in abundance for him. Teams are back to five on five at a 1 1 game here in the first period. Rodopovic. This is there for Afanasievsky. Sergeyev shoots through traffic, kicked away by Montembo. Shots are 7 3 in favor of the Russians. Afanasievsky loose behind the Canadian goal. He watched there by Fleury, flips it back in front, pitch shot, score! Rodopovic taps it home, and the Russians have taken a 2 1 lead. Much like the first goal that the Russians scored, Samuel Montembeau gets caught in between. You know, he made a good play earlier on a shot by Sergeyev through where he gets right to the top of the crease. But on this one, he ends up halfway, and there's enough room there for the Russian player to put the puck. Here he is on his knees, and the puck comes quick, and he's still sitting back there. I mean, you've got to come exploding out to the top of that crease there to close down the net. Samuel Montembeau doesn't do that. For the second goal in this game gets caught to calgary the western hockey league swung rink wide by connect he takes the return pass back in the slot here's hosang with it on the power play drops it back to travis Dermott. lots of traffic Dermott shoots but it's blocked man yeah. hosang has a look drops it back to Dermott. little slap pass back door miss Sharche. Mark Charche down to Hosang, walks back out, drops it back, Dermott shoots, scores! Travis Dermott, power play goal, and Canada's tied the game at two. Josh Hosang again with a really terrific play from below the goal line. He made a really good play up top where he set up Dermott, but Dermott kind of took a step backwards and didn't have the shooting lane, but he made no mistake jumping into this attack. From below the goal line, Hosang with the patience. There was the play earlier where Dermott loses the shooting lane, but then he jumps into the attack. And you talk about attack. I like that Josh Hosang's attacking the net and bringing the puck there. First round pick of New Jersey, 30th overall. I think they got from LA that year. Quenville in, and oh, what a stop by Georgiev on the back end. It was. Well, Kelly McCrimmon obviously coaches in Brandon and coaches John Quenville. So you would think that he has some pretty good input that John Quenville's good on the shootouts. And he certainly looked comfortable on that one. Georgia makes a good save. So now Arthur Lata. Lata moving in on Samuel Montembeau. Lata. Montembeau gets a piece of it. And it's still scoreless. Spencer Watson was scored in both games against the Russians, including one tonight. Will be Canada's next shooter. Montembeau stays right with Lauta. In comes Watson, and Georgia gets a piece of that. And the shooters are 0 for 3 thus far. Yes, and Watson, who had the breakaway coming out of the penalty box, he tries to go high glove, but over the net. Igor Korshka. First cap to give the Russians the lead. Moves in and the wrist shot. Stopped by Montembeau. And then Korshkov gloves in the rebound much to the ire of the Canadians. And so the third shooter will be Chartier. He must have been hoping for one of those Maradona no non calls. <laughs> Hand of God. <laughs> So Charche now trying to become the first shooter to score. Charche stopped in tight by George Evan. Now the Russians will have a chance to win it. Shooter will be Harulin. Merit Harulin plays in Nefnihimik in the Russian Junior League. 
to win it. Makes the move and scores. It's in behind Montembeau, and the Russians have won it. 3-2 in a shootout. He stuck it in there on Montembeau. He had the patience to get Montembeau to the ice, but I thought Montembeau had enough to get over there, but just sneaks it in. It looks like he sneaks it in just under the blocker between the body and the arm. Exactly what ends up happening. Montembeau couldn't get enough of it to keep it out of the net. So the Russians, who never trailed in the game, have a loss and an overtime win against Canada in their two games here in Calgary. And the Canadians will close out against the Czech Republic tomorrow night here in Calgary. And, you know, 